In this morning's Health Watch, a truly special delivery. A rare birth defect almost dashed the hopes of one Texas couple for a healthy baby girl. But a complex surgical procedure saved the baby's life. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton has the details. And as an OBGYN, too, this is really your specialty, yeah. so, so you understand the risks and, of course, the That's outcome. right, and this is an incredible story. Good morning, Erica. Before taking her first breath, little Alejandra underwent what's technically known as an ex utero intrapartum treatment, or EXIT for short, which helps babies with life-threatening conditions. 19 weeks into her second pregnancy, Samantha Rodriguez received devastating news. During a routine ultrasound, doctors discovered a growing mass in her baby's lung. It would have been impossible for her to breathe. I was hysterical. I was, you know, they had to pull me out of the waiting room because people were staring at me. Fetal specialist at Texas Children's Hospital recommended a rare delivery option called EXIT, which operates on the baby while it's partially inside the mother's womb. An exit procedure is a specialized type of procedure that's done at the time of cesarean section. After the uterine incision is made, the infant is actually delivered only to the level of the abdomen. This allows uh, any type of surgery to be performed on the infant and actually allows them to secure the airway. Even though it was at a little bit of a bigger risk, I mean, we just, um, we just had to gamble and take the chance. But we were terrified the entire time. On April 25th, doctors removed the mass from the baby's left lung while she was still attached to her mother's placenta and umbilical cord, her lifeline, giving her oxygen and keeping her warm. After the five-hour exit procedure, Alejandra finally entered the world. She very much is our miracle baby. They expected her to be hospitalized for at least two months, and she was out in 11 days. I mean, that's a miracle. It just blew everybody's mind that that she was just so strong and so willing to live. Doctors say her body will continue to fill in the lung tissue that didn't grow during the pregnancy, and she will be able to breathe and play like any other baby. When I see her sleeping and I, I see her just sitting there and making the cutest faces and smiling, it really just it, it pulls on my heartstrings. And I'm so proud of her. I, I just love her so much. I don't know what we would do without her now. Less than a hundred of these open fetal procedures are done every year. Oh, what a beautiful little girl. It sounds and looks a little bit risky because it almost seems like it's you start a C-section and then you stop and then you continue with it. Right. It, it is risky, but it's not as risky as an uncontrolled delivery and then emergency surgery. So really three big differences here when you compare it to a standard C-section. Time. Normally when we do a C-section, we can have the baby out in seconds. This operation, as we heard, takes hours before then the baby was born. Also type of anesthesia. The goal in a C-section is to keep the baby awake and the mother calm with a good anesthesia so that the anesthesia doesn't then go to the baby. Mm -hmm. In this case, you want that anesthesia to the baby because you don't want the baby moving. And then blood loss. In a C-section, you want to keep the uterus contracted so you don't lose a lot of blood. This is the opposite. So incredible. It's great stuff. Jen, nice to have you with us. You for that. Thanks.